Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I wanted to welcome y'all to my channel. Thank you for dropping by. I hope this is going to be a fun time. I'm going to try to make it that way. I'm working in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Cloud Planner this week. And this is what I've come up with. As you can see, I'm using some beautiful, beautiful stuff to accessorize this week. I have this clip, this bow clip, and the one up here that I pointed out. These are both from three, the number three, Glitter Peas. The little hummingbird is from the Creative Bee. The blue bow clip is from Run With Craft Scissors. A little clip I made myself with a feather on it. I thought that would go good with this kit. The kit, by the way, is from Planning Chaco. It's a digital kit. I will put all that below. Lots of foil, yummy goodness on the side. I'm working with hollow foil this week, which is one of my very favorites. I've got a few extras, of course, stuff that I've made, stuff that I've uh, purchased and um, printed out myself, foiled myself. Those are always fun. And my Aura Estelle planner. Uh, oh, and let's not forget the washi tape. Simply gilded, all in holographic foil. If you're curious about how I've set up my planner, check out one of my videos below. I've done a video on the, the whole setup. Let's look at the kit. This is called Tribal. I just looked on her shop, and she does not have this in her shop right now. So what I usually do is print multiple kits when I do a digital and do some printing and cutting on my silhouette machine because I like like this one I have used this before you may have seen this in one of my previous plan with me's like from last year it's gorgeous there are florals the colors it's just my it's some of my favorite stuff to work with these particular colors I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my inserts for I think this is the first week of April. I hope I get the right sheets out. By the way, I printed, these are from Jacinia Printables, and I have printed uh, one-sided on some of the pages so that I can put them in my notebook and not have to worry about an extra week, which will mess me up, an extra half week, basically. And I hate that I do mess up. I have already messed up like in February. I skipped a whole week. I don't know how I did that. I tried to be so careful. But anyway, I was trying to make sure that I did it correctly. So I went to the trouble of just printing on one side and making sure that each of my months had the correct number of sheets in it for my inserts. I'm using some um, date dots that are a... a uh, digital again everything i use pretty much is a digital I, I rarely find that i am using just bought stuff anymore but these are date dots and they're from from be a beautiful planning i will by the way i will list every store that i have used and found things from down below as you can see this bottom washi is gorgeous sorry i must have had a hair on there um this is, it, it's hard to tell on here on camera, but it has a bit of texture on, look to it. I had to keep touching it because it really looked as if it had some type of a fabric texture to it. It was just gorgeous. Now, I've used this before, like I said, and I've probably printed this kit out four or five times over the last year or two. I am... I'm so sorry that it's not in her shop right now, but you might be able to request and see if she'll, you know, bring it back. It's again called Tribal. I'm going to pull out those date covers and lay those down next. And I'm doing my method this week, just so you know, where I pull stickers for a whole day, like all of Monday's stickers, and stick them on my hand. Because as I've been doing my B6 Traveler's Notebook, I have found that it's much easier for me sometimes, especially if I'm going to scatter my full boxes, to have a whole um, day's worth of stickers on my hand so I can actually make sure I use them all and not skip one and make a mistake. 
So I'm trying to figure out what stickers I want, especially for that sidebar. And I love that teepee. That teepee, and y'all, I live in the Cherokee National Forest. I have Cherokee ancestry. I'm a quarter. I can actually figure out that I am a full quarter Cherokee because both of my uh, birth parents were full quarter Cherokee. So that makes me full quarter Cherokee when you do the math. So uh, my grandmother had gone up to the Cherokee Nation in Oklahoma and done some research there. And my birth mother, too, had done quite a bit of research. And she also had from the side of her family uh, a book that one of the ancestors had ancestors one of the family members had put together of the family tree and so we can go back in both directions it's really interesting both directions can go back and see that our ancestry is Cherokee so I really do I don't I'm not into all of the feathers and all that jazz I don't decorate that way usually but this particular kit was so adorable and so cute and the colors of course were just some of my favorites that I just had to have it and I pull it out every year I guess just to use I've been putting down the sidebar sticker the full box and then a few stickers from the kit a sticker a flag sticker I had made and foiled myself and then the uh, April script up at the top all foiled in this gorgeous hollow I'm um, looking through to see which headers I'm going to use next now the headers in my right hand are bow headers from Simply Watercolor Co and they happen to be digital so if you're curious about making some headers that are so gorgeous and pristine like that check out uh, her digital shop at Simply Watercolor Co um, I'm also, um, these are headers from the kit, the colorful ones, and then the ones on the far right in my right hand at the moment now are some I made myself. And it's so easy to do with a silhouette machine, just make boxes and foil it and cut it. So I was trying to decide which color group I was going to use, the top or the bottom. So I, I decided, I think, to go with the bottom and some overlays over the colorful pink that I'm going to use. So I'm going to lay those down. And y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm laying down my headers, and I'll be peeling up stickers and stuff like that. So now I wanted to tell y'all, I did a thing this week or I guess because this is Sunday, it's last week that I did it. But I ordered from the Home Shopping Network, I ordered a, let's see, it's called a Food Saver Vacuum Seal Machine. And this vacuum seal machine, like, it's, it's pretty cool. I feel kind of like the last kid on the block to get a new toy, you know, the the last one to get the bicycle or whatever but i i'm not a fan of cooking it's not my it's not my favorite thing i don't like cleaning the kitchen a whole lot so i prefer it to stay you know clean and i don't enjoy standing there stirring things but i do it i do it and as i especially don't enjoy standing there stirring hot stuff it's just it just gets to me so cooking has just never really been one of my favorite things so what I have done though is I have started I guess because I'm bored I've started looking at a whole bunch of um, YouTube videos and one of the things I had decided to do and my husband and I are doing this together is of course making sure that we have enough food for right now and not get caught this way again because I don't want ever to be told to stay home during another pandemic or for any reason. And there's all kinds of reasons that, you know, we may have to stay home. It's like if we're sick or something. But I want to make sure I have enough items on hand to get us through at least two or three weeks. And so with that in mind, I started looking at stuff of how I could put up food uh, flour, sugar, things like that that I have decided are now necessary in my life because I'm, I have made more 
baked goods this last week and a half to two weeks than I have probably in the last two or three years. And I'm serious. Y'all, I just don't cook. I, I don't like it. But I guess I'm bored. So anyway, then I am buying this food saver. And the food saver is really cool. So we'll be able to vacuum seal to our heart's content. Um, I have realized that a lot of our sandwich meats and cheeses go bad pretty quick, especially the cheeses. And so I think it'll actually help quite a bit and probably earn, earn back the money that I've spent on it. Anyway, if you're interested in that, um, I've also found it on Amazon. It's cheaper at Home Shopping Network, just so you know. Um, I don't have the number for it. All my information's actually in another notebook in the upstairs right now. But I think the number was the 5380 um, from Home Shopping Network, Food Savers, the name brand. I'll put the, the Amazon link for the same machine, too. But again, it's cheaper on Home Shopping Network. But I, I was really excited. I cannot wait to get it and to start playing with it and making stuff, you know, putting stuff up in the freezer and uh, even doing some dry goods if I, if I can figure out how to do two of those correctly. So anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about cooking, I hope, because anyway, looking through all the washi tape that I had, and I actually, these are some that I had set aside uh, in a, probably in a previous Plan With Me video. And they were just sitting there, but they worked with the kit so well, I just decided to use these. I decided to do as many as I could uh, with enough variation on this uh, weekend banner to hopefully get it to look kind of exciting because I'm kind of blah right now on my weekend banners. So I'm using a lot of the skinnier tapes, the five millimeters is that what they're called or centimeters I don't know what that is y'all have to forgive me I just think it must be millimeter five centimeters is kind of big isn't it anyway uh, and I have a whole bunch of the uh, simply gilded tapes that have the um, vertical bows on it uh, why I don't know because I don't have a hobonichi I don't plan horizontally but I have decided, with all these skinny uh, vertical bows, I've decided to use them on my um, weekend banners. Now, this week I decided to do another different thing. I'm going to place all of these little strips of washi a certain way so that ultimately I can cut a moon shape half circle I guess a half circle is a better way to put it shape at the bottom of it instead of doing the little flag um, V shape that we usually do at the bottom so that's why you see me not snipping the ends of it I don't know if I'm ever going to do this again because it just really did not turn out so nice but I'll try it and see how it works I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit more so that hopefully we can get through this painful area quicker. <laughs> As I finish laying down the tapes, I really love that particular purple right there, periwinkle purple. It is so pretty, and it goes so well with this kit. Really, I really enjoyed the way that turned out. I started looking around to see if I could find something circular that I could use to cut around and use it like for a uh, cut line, whatever, a line, a cut circle, I don't know. Anyway, I finally figured out if I pulled out one of my, um, it's actually an ice cream dish from Michael's. Um, I pulled out, I use it like for a book bookmarks and stuff and put those in there, you'll see in a minute. Um, <laughs> It was kind of comical because seriously I am looking all over my desk and I'm trying to decide see I'm pointing it out what on earth can I use so ultimately no nope, that didn't work let's see what else did I find and actually I guess I could have cut this part out I'm, I may have to come back and cut that out oh, there we go so I found this little ice cream dish that was from Michaels um, 
had it for years anyway I use it like I said for those little metal bookmarks and I cut the tape the shape of that curve and put my little things back in there and I started peeling up the tape and I thought oh how cool this is really working and then later You'll, you're going to see that I, I absolutely despise it. I tried to fix it by doing other stuff. But anyway, I wouldn't have known if I didn't try it, right? So not every plan uh, works. If there's a fail, at least I can say I tried. So that's what this is. It's a, it's a fail, I think. Ultimately, it's a fail. I did not like the... I don't know. I think it looks so bare, and I just didn't know what to do with the blank space under the flag, under the banner. And I was excited when I first did it. I thought it looked pretty cool. And uh, I was kind of like, oh, I'll find something in the kit that'll go right there. But anyway, you'll see what I ended up doing. And uh, no, I did not cut through the page either, which was a win. But that's what it turned out. And I didn't like the shape, ultimately. So... We'll finish putting those headers down and we're going to get busy and go on with the rest of the plan with me because that took forever i'm going to try to peel up one of my little overlays there and put it on the pink headers that i've got so, down so far and yes i did remember the sunday one later okay i'm going to go back to the sidebar and using the head the blue headers from the kit I'll put those down in the sidebar and pick out I was trying to figure out which colors I needed to use in the sidebar there's a lot of blue in the kit so I decided to use the purple Monday through Sunday sticker another header and then that I'll call it khaki color it's a brown ombre light brown ombre checklist And we're going to figure out which one did I pick first. Here's how, here's how I, I have really enjoyed doing this. And it looks kind of strange, but this is the way my brain works. Take a full box. Take a checklist. Uh, decide which half box. See, those three right there, by the way, are also digitals from Simply Watercolor Co. The half boxes and quarter boxes. And I foiled them. I kind of decided to put the shape of the boxes all on one page and then do a, a color background um, hers are where you can do I think the smaller sheets but I picked out all of the different things as you see on my hand here that I wanted to use for one day Monday is what I'm working on so I knew I needed two more headers I needed half box a quarter box so that's kind of where my brain is as I'm going through the pages of the kit so that I can have them all on my hand ready to go and not have to stop and flip through all the pages uh, in between each sticker and that's ultimately why I decided to do it this way it was funny because I thought, oh, well, I'm going to scatter my full boxes. And I ended up putting them right in the boxes on the um, that were printed here on the insert. So I'm going to go back through and I'm loading my hand up to do Tuesday again with each of the boxes that I'm going to need. I am so excited that it is spring. I know we, sh we are still going to get some chilly weather up here where I live, but uh, hopefully it's not going to be below freezing anymore. I've got so many pretty little bushes that have blossomed out. Uh, the blooms are starting to really take shape. Um, I'm very excited to be able to sit on my porch um, because we are so um, secluded where, where I live. Um, the location of our house is way up a hillside and uh, a mountain and uh, it's been uh, for this type of situation that we're in it's it could not be more perfect honestly by the way those arrows aren't they cute mwd design co my friend cassandra and her mother have a shop on etsy and that's where those are from they again are digitals 
they were so perfect for this little kit that I made sure I tried to use those. I was excited when I remembered them because sometimes if I don't see something I don't remember I have it. So I lot up my hand again and get Wednesday put down. Have y'all found that you're doing stuff that you like kept putting off for the rest of the year? I know it's spring and a lot of us are spring cleaning, uh, me included. Uh, we have gone through the pantry. I think we kind of needed to do that anyway, but uh, gone through the pantry and kind of made sure. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. That's what I was doing. I was like, what on earth am I doing there? But uh, we made sure we had all of our our canned goods, you know, with the oldest ones to the front and check the dates on everything and just kind of organized it because it was kind of pathetic up there. So we've been doing that, had to wipe off shelves and, you know, that kind of junk that you don't want to really do during the year. And sometimes we just don't have time to. But anyway, there's the first half of the week. I'll get busy on the second half. And I wanted to follow... Uh, what I did like on Monday uh, for Thursday, the same stickers in the same order um, or similar order. And you'll see this, that's what I'm doing, comparing which stickers I wanted to put where. I kind of enjoy doing it this way. Um, it was kind of fun to kind of think a little differently. And yet it was... I don't know if it if it really made it easier I think it did because then I didn't have to pick up the pages multiple times just you know pick them all up once pick out what I need and lay them down I was really excited when I started looking back through a lot of the digital kits that I've used because I decided of all the shops that I have bought stickers from to make myself with digitals I realized there were some I had never printed out so I've started making myself a list of things I need to go to uh, shops I need to you know look at again and uh, see if they have any new stuff I want to get but basically what I've done as I did that I made a master list of all of the digital sticker kits from Etsy shops and I made that list of all the different shops. And you'll see it below. This is the video that I'm going to actually put all the names of the sticker shops that I order from. Now, I'm going to do a little caveat here. Because I want to make sure that if y'all are going to do digitals, you understand what we have to go through to check that we can use them. I personally use a Silhouette uh, I can't believe I, can't, I have to look at it. A cameo. I couldn't come up with the word. A silhouette cameo. I, I like the cameo three. That's what I've always used. So I bought a second one last year sometime when they were on sale. And that's what I love to use. Many of y'all also use a Cricut machine. And now back in the day I had a Cricut. And that was long, 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 long time ago before they, you know, before I could go online and get digitals that might go with it. So you might have a different machine, but I'm using the Silhouette software and the Silhouette Cameo 3 for these digital kits. Make sure you check the files before you purchase it to make sure it includes free either Silhouette files for cutting or the Cricut if you have the Cricut machine. Um, some shops do not include those and they will send a PDF or whatever those other initials are. Uh, and you have to figure it out yourself. And that's that gets kind of hairy, kind of kind of hard to do. And also, please be aware if you get a digital kit to that you may need to make some changes. And depending on the shop, you know, be sure you read their directions, see if the registration marks work for you and their cut settings. I'll always almost always have to change a cut setting. Um, of some type and those can get a little hairy as well sometimes I run into the problem that a kit needs to be um, broken in half cut in half on my silhouette software and put on new pages turned so that everything will fit the right way sometimes 
I mean, sometimes it can get hairy. So just that's the caveat. Be careful. Um, when I make this list down below, you'll see it down below. Um, I am not able to get any coupon codes for these. Look and see if they have uh, a group of ladies who might have codes that you can use. I always check on the Instagram pages for these companies to see if, if there's a sale, to see if there's a coupon code that they might have, or if they have um, people uh, people who, um, I can't think of what they're called, y'all know what I mean, have coupon codes. Anyway, the one coupon code that I do have is for MWD Designs Co. I'll put her first in that coupon code, just so you know. Okay, finishing up Saturday and Sunday, and I'm pulling out something for the weekend banner. I wanted something foiled and cute and to fill up that space up there. So here I am going through all of my holographic stuff, seeing if I have a weekend sticker, which ultimately, no, I did not have a page of weekend um, scripts. So I'm gonna put that back. And then I remembered, duh, Donnie, you just finished a leftovers um, book, a ton of leftover sticker. So I'm reaching back behind me and pulling out the foiled leftovers book if you're curious about that book i have done a video it is the one right before this one so yes look a holographic weekend sticker yippee so i pulled that out and tried to figure out it that blank spot no it's just not gonna work it's too big of a blank spot and so that's why i've decided i didn't like the weekend banner not at all i i thought about it Surely there was an easier way I could have done this. Uh, maybe if I had put background washi or something in the background before I actually laid down the washi tape, I might have liked it better. Ultimately, I made a mess of it, and then I tried to cover it up with the script sticker. So here's what I've done. You'll see me lay this down, and it's a perfect background for it if I had done it first. So if I ever try this again, I don't know if I will. If I ever tried this again, I would probably lay down all of the background washi at the bottom and then lay the top stuff at the top because it's real hard to cut in an arc like that. I tried to use my straight edge. It did not work and I didn't want to pull the cut back out because I didn't figure it would really be the right thing to do anyway my brain was going oh well, yeah this will work I'll just pop that right in there and trim it and it'll work just fine but really it was difficult to get it to to look good and maybe you don't see that but I sure did and I was cutting tiny little pieces off the whole time and then I made a mistake and cut too much right there you'll see white underneath that and it's like well now what am I gonna do I think the, the concept was cute. And again, if I'd had a piece of something I could have put underneath there as an, a whole sticker that was easier, I might have done that. But And I may do that in the future if I figure something out. But I'm going to just call this one a fail. I didn't like it. it it's okay. I'll leave it because I'm not going to peel all that up. And I did cover quite a bit of my boo-boos with the weekend script sticker. Boy, that's a whole lot of talking for just a weekend banner, isn't it? And I think I actually brought out another sticker. Oh, I did. These are uh, the ones in my left hand that are gorgeous little icon, holographic icons. Were from Plan for Happy. Plan the number four, Happy. And this one has a, it's a weekend, um, oh, something about the weekend. I can't remember what it says, to tell you the truth. But I pulled it out, decided I don't want it to say weekend twice. So I put it back up because ultimately I found this bow, remembered the bow, 
a lot of times I don't remember things and decided to just put the bow on there so I put that particular sticker back but those are some lovely lovely stickers okay now to make it even more foiled I'm going to put the overlays uh, that I started out with at the beginning um, I looked through my overlay pile over here I make such a mess y'all it's kind of ridiculous but I checked to make sure I wanted to use these particular confettis um, these are the tiny confetti overlays I put them on the, the sidebar over the blue headers that I put there I really like that color blue a lot and then over the pink ones that I used during the week I put the larger confettis so I'm going to just deck that out And finish those up and then I've got to wait and see what I did next overlays for the full boxes simply D designs are where these overlays are from she has so many cool sorry simply D sincerely D I do that every time she has so many awesome things in her shop if you are doing overlays of any type i highly recommend sincerely d designs um i need to get busy and catch up with the ones i've bought because i have some i haven't printed out yet look at the sparkle oh love that confetti overlay on the bottom washi it just exploded that whole kit i love it so very carefully I'm trying to lay these perfectly straight the first time and I don't always get that down right but I loved the sparkle that this added this is the jewelry for the planner love it love it the pretty little confetti overlays for each of the full boxes and I went through a lot of the different sheets that I had. You'll see that I'm using different ones. They're not all from the same, you know, the same digital. So I have lots and lots from her shop. I really love using them. And I have printed them out in all the different foil colors. So if you see, you know, in my future uh, plan with me's or the past ones even, you'll see similar ones, but they may be in gold or silver or something different. But I have done them huh, a mass foiling uh, using all the different foils that I had. And I love having that at my fingertips, able to use it. I think I have to say, if somebody were to ask me what is my favorite foil color to use, I think it's got to be this holographic foil. This is the... Um, not the shattered glass this was oh yeah i can't remember the name i'll i'll put it in right here i'll have to look it up and see what the name of it is but it's just gorgeous candy for your planner too anyway let's put the pages they're finally done i'm finally done with this i'm gonna put the pages back in my ara estelle a5 wide planner put my clips on decide which ones I want to use or not use I decided not to use the hummingbird I thought it would go with the kit pretty well but I decided I wanted bows instead just because that's the way I am I was real excited to be able to have something so cute to put put on there that matched the kit And I decided a uh, quick little wiggle, clear it up a little, let y'all see all that hollow. Ooh, isn't that pretty? And I reached over finally and remembered a pin gem because who can plan without a pin gem? I don't even know which one that is, but it is so pretty. It has just a light purple to it. And then inside the crystals are all of the colors you see in the kit. It was like perfect. So. Here it is in slow motion, and hopefully I got close enough and kept it in focus that you can see all of the details. Really pretty, just 
gorgeous. It was so fun to do this one. Again, Planning Taco is the name of the shop I got the kit from, and it's Tribal. Uh, again, you might ask her if she'll re-release that and uh, make it available if you're interested in getting it. I don't know if she will or not. I did not ask. And my messy weekend banner. Sorry about that. I hope y'all are all doing well, staying healthy, happy. I hope this little plan with me has been interesting to you and kind of a bright spot on a on a day that might be boring for you. I don't know. I hope y'all all take care. Reach out, ask me questions if you have any. I'll respond as soon as I see it. And I appreciate you and all of your time that you have just now spent watching my video. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.